Peter Bosa is in Mountain View, California, at the company's Made by Google event, along with the company's senior VP for hardware. Dee, it's all yours. Tyler, thank you. And that's right, Rick Osterloh. Thank you so much. Straight from the stage to our little studio here on Google campus. Um, tell me, what should we take away from this? What do we get today in terms of Gemini and sure. Google AI applications that we just haven't seen before? Yeah, you bet. Thanks for having me, Deirdre. Um, so the, this announcement was two really big things. First, we talked all about Gemini and how we're trying to get it across our whole mobile ecosystem. Uh, try to get it to every Android device where there's just billions of people that could take advantage of the power of AI and the helpfulness. And then the other part of it was around announcing our new Pixel lineup of phones. Right, and so leaving Pixels aside, right, it's, you said at the top of the keynote, it's all about AI. That's right. Um, what did we get that was different? How is it different than what we saw a few months ago with, say, Project Astra? How should we think about these different AI offerings? Yeah, I think, well, at, at I.O., we announced Project Astra and a number of new technologies and research uh, items we're working on. Today, we were focused on things we're about to ship that are shipping in the next yeah. few weeks, which is really exciting. So we gave live demos of a lot of capabilities. Uh, we showed Gemini Live with real conversations with people on stage, and it's it's amazing. I mean, this, it's a new capability that allows you to have a true conversation mm -hmm. with AI. It's awesome if you want to brainstorm something, if you want to learn something new, right. and have someone you can talk with. It, it's just like a great capability. People love it. First to market, I think, is an important point, and to have it on device, you guys That's are right. going to be ahead of Apple in terms of that. Um, let's talk about Pixels, though, because you did talk a lot about that. You have a new lineup. Pixel devices, though, they make up less than 5% of the smartphone market globally. Where does that need to be two years, five years from now to justify its existence? Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at the global market, there's so many billions of phones out there and so many sold every year. But if you narrow into the focus where Pixel's shipping um, and the market segment that we primarily operate in, which is premium, it's actually much bigger than it appears. So if you look at markets like Japan or UK or other places where we've been for a while, uh, we're usually the number two or three player in those markets in terms of premium smartphone market share. So do the rising CapEx costs, we talk a lot about this on CNBC for AI, has that changed the calculus for Pixel? I know that you may be the number two or number three, but globally still a small percentage of the market. Yeah, we're, we're certainly Pixel small, and we have a huge reach with our Android ecosystem. So we go to market mm -hmm. with all of our uh, capabilities to billions of people that are using Android every day. And so that's why we're investing so much in our AI infrastructure. We, of course, have to serve all the people using our apps and services, and, and there's billions of those folks. We have over six products that have uh, two billion or more monthly users. And then on the Android right. side, of course, we have phones everywhere. And we want to make sure our AI capabilities through Gemini are brought to all those users. So when you say these features are going to be available now, they're available, some of them are available to subscribing users in many cases. Does this ultimately roll out to all Android users, to all the different models in that universe? Uh, so, some of the advanced capabilities we yeah. showed, like Gemini Live um, and, and the forthcoming research capabilities, those will be available for people that are on the advanced IA, uh, AI premium subscription, and everything else uh, is being available for anyone that uses Android. And in the coming weeks, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Um, Rick, thank you so much for being with us today. You're welcome. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me, Deirdre.